One of the most amazing things about living in this digital virtual world is that we can reach people around the world by just having a computer, an iPhone, some sort of phone, some sort of smartphone, right? And a laptop with an internet connection. And that's so cool, especially for the last couple of years. But the problem with that is, is that we miss something really valuable. And that is human connection and the opportunity to build a real in-person relationships. And this is exactly why in-person events are so powerful to grow a business. In fact, some of you may even remember some of the events that Flourish and Thrive Academy used to host called Flourish and Thrive Live. Don't worry, they're coming back soon. Now, if you've been wondering how to make some more real life connections and grow your business quickly, well, I've got a treat for you today on the podcast. I am interviewing Kat Hildner and Allison Carter of the Ultimate Product Party. More on that in just a minute. I'm Tracy Matthews. I'm the Chief Visionary Officer of Flourish and Thrive Academy. I also host this podcast and this YouTube channel called Thrive by Design, and I'm so excited to be here to be supporting you on your jewelry business journey. Now, if you're new here, I help jewelry business owners and other product business owners launch, grow, and scale successful five, six, and seven-figure businesses using my methodology called the Desire Brand Effect. And I've been teaching this for years, and I'm so excited to be supporting you on your journey. And that's exactly why I love bringing incredible guests like Kat and Allison on the show. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and that you hit that little notification bell to make sure that you're notified anytime we release a new podcast or a great video. All right, so I wanted to dive into this episode today because we are gonna be talking about the power of in-person events. And if you wanna join and you love attending in-person events, I'm gonna share with you at the end how you can attend an event that I'm going to be speaking at that Kat and Allison are actually hosting. It's really incredible. Kat and Allison met at a creative conference many years ago and quickly became business besties. And they realized that it was time for them to solve a problem to develop a conference for product-based business owners that was specifically catered towards them because most of the most of the events catered towards creatives were typically for service-based businesses. So if you've been wanting and you're craving connection, you're gonna love this episode. Let's dive right in. I am, have not been so excited about a podcast interview in so long. I have Allison and Catherine of the Ultimate Product Party here. And I found out about them last May when I started seeing all of their promotions for their event pops up. And I'm like, I need to know these ladies. So welcome to the podcast. Wow, Hi. thanks for having us, Tracy. So I've been following you guys for a while now, and I pitched you to be speaking at your event, the Ultimate Product Party. So I'm super excited to be a speaker. I'm pumped about that more than anything. Today, we're going to be talking about the power of live events. And I love this topic so much because we hosted live events for many, many years until COVID happened. Then I moved. I don't know how much you know about my story, but I moved from New York City to Arizona. And we're bringing back live events for Flourish and Thrive Academy to you this year, and I'm thrilled. So tell me a little bit about your backgrounds and everything. Why don't we start with Catherine? I'm Kat, the co-host of Ultimate Product Party here with Allison. I also own my own stationery business called Kitty Meow Boutique, where it is a collection of super stylish, fashion forward, edgy, but you know, sometimes sweet and charming paper goods that I sell in over 1500 stores all over the world. And UPP, Ultimate Product Party, is so our passion project and owning two businesses is definitely a challenge, but yes. no one in this world I would rather do it with than my buddy, Allison Carter here. I cannot wait to hear the story of how you guys met. But if anyone yes. is not following Kitty Meow Boutique, definitely follow it. Their Instagram is like fire. So you're doing a great job, Kat. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Allison, give us a little backstory. She's just the best. Uh, Kat is the ultimate bow down to Kitty Meow. My name's Allison Carter. I own a company called Allison Carter Celebrates. I am a former product based business. So I know all the ins and outs and all the ups and downs of the roller coaster ride that is product. I owned a subscription box for many years that was holiday and party forward for moms. 
And I transitioned in the past couple of years to business coaching for creative entrepreneurs, many of them multi-passionate entrepreneurs, service-based, product-based, very creative. Um, and I really help them get more eyeballs on their content with a overall visibility strategy. I really help them have the confidence to be themselves mm -hmm. on the internet, have fun in their business, have fun with their content, get featured in media outlets, and just design the life and the business that really caters to their lifestyle. With that comes a lot of boundary setting yeah. and a lot of your life, your rules, and just really having fun and honoring the gift and the privilege that is owning your own business and the power that that has for yourself, your family, and your community. I love that. And what I would say is that you guys really push it to the edge of being yourselves online, mm -hmm. which is so refreshing and fun. Like Good. it's amazing. Good. So how'd you guys meet? We met at an in-person event. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> which so event was it? Do you want to share? Yeah, it was Alt Summit 2019, the year before COVID. And yep. I think we were staying at the same hotel. We were just mm -hmm. happened to be at breakfast one day at neighboring tables. And I am not I'm an introvert. Like I am not someone who's just going to be like, hi, my name is so-and-so nice to meet you. But Allison, Allison is. So <laughs> she was sitting alone at breakfast and she just started chatting with me. We exchanged business cards. And then I never saw her again after the event, but she kept popping up in my life in real life. Cause we would continue to go to different conferences and be like, Oh, I see you're going to be there. Let's meet up for a drink. Let's meet up for dinner. Oh, your husband's at that event too. Like let's all hang out together. And when Allison started doing more PR in her business, I had reached out to her for guidance in working with a PR mm. company to do it for me. She was like, man, nah, I don't think you should do it. I feel like you should do it on your own. I'm like, nah, you don't know what you're talking about, Allison. I'm yeah. going to go for it anyway, which was not a huge mistake, but not one of my finest business decisions. And <laughs> immediately after that, I started coaching with Allison and Allison, you can take it away on what happens next because that's where the magic really began. Let's hear about it. Let's do it. You know, I was thinking about this story the other day, actually, because it is very rare for me to have gone and ate a meal by myself. Like I was thinking about why I was alone for breakfast that day because I was with a whole crew of friends. And it was like, if I was with all of those friends, I probably wouldn't have turned to the table and been like, talk to me, I'm bored, I have no one to speak to. And I was meant to be like in that booth sitting next to Kat. And that was what our story was like meant to be and how it was supposed to start. So it was super cool. But I ended up doing a mastermind all about PR. And part of that group was a retreat and we went on a retreat in Nashville. So it was just a really fun get together with all the girls in the mastermind. We escaped to Nashville. It was like, tail end of the panty so we were like we need to get out but we're still like there's a lot of people in this tootsies bar but still fun we had like had a lot um, i was just there i was at tootsies recently oh, <laughs> so good we lots of tootsie stories cat and i but i must hear them all <laughs> we went to dinner on our final night and we were just talking as a whole group about like what we wanted to do and and all of these things and i somehow it can the events came up and how impactful being in person was and the and the bonds that like you we created as a group there and everything and I was saying there's no events for product-based businesses. I know. Every creative conference we have gone to, and like Kat said, we have gone to many. We're always raising our hand to the speaker, asking how their strategy, how their flow, how their yeah. secrets, how their tips helps or can be catered to products. So we just always felt like we were sitting in the, in the audience, square peg, round hole. Like we're trying to make this work. It wasn't catered to us. So we were having to do extra work on top of it. And it's just the event space still is catered to service influencers, bloggers, like really creative content creators, which we're all content creators. Yeah. If you run a business, you're a content creator, but a product-based business is a very specific set of challenges and problems and different than a solely online business is. And so we were like, well, shit, let's create it. Let's do it ourselves. Let's figure out how to create an event 
for product-based business. All sessions are product. All speakers are product owners. All like everything is dedicated. Not one person will have to raise their hand and ask how this applies to them. And that was in August. And the first ultimate product party was the following May. And which year was that? Well, this was 2022. Okay. So you've Mm -hmm. had, this is your third one coming up. So this is third one. Three. Yep. Yep. Uh, Third time's a charm. (laughs) Yay. I'm so excited for it. Yeah. That's amazing. it, It just, we did it. It just, we wanted to do it. It was the hardest thing we've ever done. It is still the hardest thing. Like hard. it is, events, are, events hard. are insane. People do not know the capacity of amount of our work and energy and time and money that goes into building out event, especially in the, like the caliber that we do it, but damn, we've learned a lot of things and uh, like cats, you know, my other spouse. So that's great. Too. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> I love it. So I just got off a call. You guys, we were running a little bit late and I'm sorry about that, but with someone who met like literally her whole accountability group that she's still working with at one of our in-person events, because we saw the same issue, you know, the jewelry industry, I feel like is sometimes like a a slightly separate, like Mm -hmm. satellite industry to the product-based industry, but there's so many like crossovers and parallels that are relevant. There are a lot of conferences for people in the jewelry industry but it, they never really cater towards like an independent jeweler who's kind of like in that range of like doing a lot of the stuff themselves or they're working with just a small team instead of like these people who have like massive jewelry brands or they're like fine jewelers or retailers or something like that it's a right. very different sort of audience and so everything that you said i'm totally on board with because the I I personally think, and I'd love to hear your take on this, that one of the most powerful parts of the events is not just the content that you learn, but the people that you meet. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, easy. Totally. And it's not like you need to go home from an event with 500 new best friends. You can just make one friend and that friend can potentially change the trajectory of your entire life, your entire business. And Allison has absolutely been that that person for me, she pushes me and challenges me out of my comfort zone every single day in this event. Like we want to be that experience for other people where you feel challenged, you feel feel like pushed out of your limits just yes. a little bit or a lot of it because that's what you need to grow. And if you're staying like in the four walls of your home or even if you have a space outside your home where you work on your business, you're never going to grow. Business is always at the core going to be about relationships. And if you're not out there actually intentionally Mm -hmm. building them, you are going to be so far left behind and you have no one to blame but yourself. This is true. So true. So Kat, I have a follow-up question for you. This is kind of a little bit off topic and then we're going to come back to events and how and everything about that. Yeah. Kitty Meow Boutique, you're selling to a ton of retailers. Do you also have your own boutique? I do not. I can't tell boutique. because your Instagram, <laughs> it looks like you have yeah. a store. So we have a space called the Kitty Meow HQ where we, um, my team and I, well, they fulfill the orders and we make videos and it's a nicely decorated little warehouse. It's not your typical, you know, like yeah. cement walls type place, but it is not an area where we welcome people to like come in and purchase in person. And I'm not like, I go back and forth. Like, is that something I want in the future? I don't really know. Cause I like, I have three little kids and I like the freedom of leaving to go get them from school. And I know you can hire people, but that's kind of where I'm at. Like what's next for Kitty Meow? I'm not quite sure. It's amazing. What are some of the challenges that you had Kat growing your business over the years and how long has Kitty Meow boutique been around? It's a challenge. 1500 stores is a lot. Like I was, my jewelry was sold in 350 stores back in the day. And I felt like that was a lot. Like, how are you managing that? Well, I have a lot of help. I've gotten a lot better about asking for help. If it wasn't for my team of two fantastic women, I could, I wouldn't even have time to work on ultimate Mm -hmm. product party, which is like an absolutely another business that takes up your entire time and mental space. But I just started on Etsy like 10 plus years ago with a couple invitation designs and have grown it from there. Like custom doing custom design work was really the root of my business for a long time until I had kids. And it's like, I can't, 
can't be everyone's graphic designer anymore. I don't have the yeah, capacity yeah. for that. So really honing in on like, okay, what's my brand voice? I have no idea. What's my brand style? I have no idea. Figuring that out and stepping into that power of unapologetically, like who am I and what is my brand all about has been, you know, like, I think I'm 39 years old. I'm still trying to find out who I am as a woman, but I feel like I finally am starting to <laughs> know who that is. It's definitely a process of discovery. I will tell you that. <laughs> But the collection has grown over the years and who my audience is has gotten more like clear over the years. And, you know, greeting cards, it's not like making a bracelet or a pair of earrings. There's like, yes, a lot that goes into it, but it's not as labor intensive. So it's a lot easier to slang greeting cards all day than mm -hmm. it is to be like hand making jewelry, you know, for sure. Now, Allison, I want to ask you the same question. I mean, you don't have a product-based business anymore, but what were some of the challenges that you had as you were building that business? So I did, I made so many mistakes in my product business. One, when I never wanted to actually be a product-based business, but I ran a podcast called Memories and Moments, and it was all celebration tips and turning up the volume on life's little everyday moments for moms and just like having more fun and easy tips for holidays and stuff like that. And my audience was constantly asking for me to do the ideas for them, send them to me. And I was like, mm, I don't, that doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> Just do it yourself. Like, and they're like, really though, do it. And so I was like, okay, what if I tried this? What if I tried a Halloween box, couple activities, cute paper plates, napkins, like fun little like games, all this stuff. So I did that. And it was like, lackluster. One, I didn't even know that wholesale was a thing. So I bought everything retail. I just like oh, went geez. to Target and bought like banners that I took apart and then like distributed. It was like so bad. I sold like 30 boxes. I did not make any money. Pictures of me on the porch next to my like measly little boxes. Very cute. And then I was like, okay, well, I feel like I have to try this for Christmas. Like, obviously that's the Super Bowl. So I need to at least try one more time. And then that, like, I think I sold over a hundred boxes that time. I did a match with Ronald McDonald house. It really like kind of skyrocketed. And then I was like, okay, I guess this is a thing. But I, I feel like one of the downfalls in the beginning was not fully listening to my gut in the way that I wanted to run it. I was kind of mm. giving, I was listening to my customers almost too much. So like I started my business because it was a direct ask from my customer, which is always, always listen to your customer, like give them what they want, but in a way that very much works for you. And so I should have hired a team way earlier than I did. I should not have been stuffing hundreds of boxes by myself while my kids are at home because of COVID. I should not have done that. I started my business with a six month old and a three year old. And so oh it was God. like too much. Okay. Then we moved. It was a huge remodel. I was doing boxes in a construction zone. It was just a lot. And so hiring too late was a huge downfall. I could have scaled more early on if I had outsourced. And so Finally, I hired, I put a call out to a Facebook group to my neighborhood and I hired a team of stay-at-home moms that would prep all of the crafts and cut all the ribbon to size and stuff all the beads and whatever the project was. And then finally, I outsourced all the designing and the planning of boxes. And that was like the second I gave that to someone else, I big time, like my sales really went up and I had the freedom to do other things To I started coaching secret club style. I called like my coaching business, my mistress, and I was <laughs> married to my like other business because I was like coaching on the side, making all of this like good money. And for just like talking to people about their business, but while also this team was starting to build this box out. So my biggest downfall with product was trying to do it all myself for way longer than I needed to do. Cause I felt like I had to. I, well, I love it that you both talked about your team and how it supported you. Cause that's actually what I'm going to be talking about at your event, yes. <laughs> which is like, <laughs> I love it. Amazing. Such a game changer. We're huge people... supporters. <laughs> yeah. So back when I started my jewelry company, this is like back in the nineties. Cause I'm like a lot older than most people think, but when I started, like I, I got like a couple of really big orders from these incredible stores. Some of them, they were like 150 unit 
piece orders of handmade jewelry, like for immediate delivery. And I started panicking. I'm like, how am I going to make these without like my hands hurting or me working till mm -hmm. like two in the morning every day to like fulfill this order? Cause everything was made to order at that time. And that was like my first dip in the toe of like hiring someone mm -hmm. to basically replicate you. And it changed my life forever. Like I never actually after that, unless it was mandatory and necessary, once my business started to grow, made really made jewelry again, unless it was like the initial product line, because it, there's so much freedom in that. Like you have the full creativity to be able to design mm -hmm. and get excited about a piece, but you don't have to deal with the boring part of the, the reproduction of the piece. I know you you both had different types of products where it's not it's something that maybe a factory would make but for handmade artists like that's it's yeah. huge and i mean there's a lot of challenges with having a team because you're dealing with different personalities and then you as the leader of the company have to like step up and do things that you maybe don't that aren't naturally in your wheelhouse and stuff like that but at the end of the day there's so much freedom in that and that's how you can really grow if that's one of your goals yeah totally and i have awesome felt that in my own business. And we're feeling that now in UPP a lot over the past couple of years, because I felt like I was always changing my business, but no one was there to package orders. Like I couldn't do anything. I couldn't go out to lunch. I couldn't pee. I, you know, had to be working day and night because if I didn't ring the bell, who was going to ring the bell? But then I also felt so much fear with like, no one can do it. Like I can, like, no one's going to care about my business. Like I can, right. and yeah, maybe they won't, but like, it'll be good enough. And yep, exactly. My zone of genius is not packaging orders. It's like having this conversation with you two. That's yeah. going to be a real needle mover, not mm -hmm. that. And sharing your message, which I think is super powerful. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this so much. So let's talk a little bit more about like some of the things, some of the needle movers of going to live events that they supported each of you. I don't care who wants to go first, whoever wants to chime in. Yeah, Allison. I think the coolest part of an in-person event, and I, I have gone to many little ones, big ones, and uh, there is always someone, you have no idea who was there that yes. is meant to change something about you. And it could be a speaker. It could be a fellow attendee. It could be a brand. It could be one of a sponsor that you meet. Like it could be multiple people like Kat, actually we did a live on UPP yesterday and Kat said, and also turn it around. You have no idea who's meant to meet you and like, have mm -hmm. you the one to impact them? And so it really is this, like this situation where you have no idea what is waiting for you on the other side. You just have to get up and get there. But there has never been one event that I have ever walked away from and thought that was a total waste of time. Like never, not once. And maybe the speakers weren't exactly who I needed to hear from, but I met somebody or I heard a nugget that I applied and really saw results from or, or whatever. And so, or I just escaped my family for a day yes. or two and was able to recharge myself back up. And that also has massive power. And so I think that Something that is a testament about Ultimate Product Party specifically is our guest retention rate from year three is well over 50%. Wow, so that's I, incredible. It's like unheard of. And one, we have, we approach every single year as different as this is a different event every year. Now, that is not the smartest business decision for Cat and I <laughs> at all. <laughs> the smartest decision would be same time, same location, same place, same speakers. That's the best financial decision for us. But that is nowhere close to anything that we do because one, I will fly from this business so fast if I ever do the same thing over and over and over. Mm -hmm. it, it has to be changed up in order for me to stay. And two, we want people to come every single year. We want it to be a reunion. We want it to be an investment that you make every year to come to Ultimate Product Party. I am a product-based business. 
I come to UPP because it is the place where I learn that year's marketing strategies, trending topics. I'm up to date on what I need to do to grow my product-based business. I'm recircling back to all of my friends that live all across the country that I now get to see at least once a year guaranteed. I get to learn from these speakers. I get to just have some freaking fun. Like yeah. building your business is supposed to be fun. I get to take fun photos. I get to re my brand photos by swapping some like, you take my phone, I'll take your phone. Let's just go over here in this beautiful backdrop or this jungle that is our venue this year in California. Take some pictures. You're already in your cute outfit. Take advantage. Like there's so many perks that people are not thinking about that are included in that ticket price that mm -hmm. go beyond the full access to the two day of sessions of the speakers and your lunch and your happy hour and your drinks and all of that stuff. Like there's so much more that goes on when you come to an event and that up in the air, I don't know what's going to happen. I know that's scary for some people. It's like the most exciting for me because I like to go into a situation blind constantly and be like, well, what's going to happen? <laughs> Hit me I'm with like your you. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm a wing it kind of girl. And so, but for other people, like the thing we hear the most is that there, I've never been in a room as inclusive as this one. I've never been surrounded by this many women and have felt as safe as I felt. This is the first time I've been around women and have felt like I could be myself. Like those are actual testimonials that we have gotten from guests that nowhere in the realm of possibilities were Kat and I even thinking that the impact would be anywhere close to that when we were planning an event to, like this. We were just like, oh, it's going to be so fun. There, We know we're going to give them a fun time. We know the speakers are going to be great. We had zero clue the community aspect and how powerful mm -hmm. and how year after year people started to count on that. And this like club almost that is open arms for new members to just be so excited about like inviting in. That is one of by far one of the most proud things that I could ever walk away from in anything I do in my business, creating a safe place for women to grow together. That's, I mean, like top of the, I can't think of something that would top that. Kat, what do you have to say? Oh gosh. That was a lot. That was great. And I hundred percent, I'm like hundred percent. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Everything. I'm like, what was the question? I'm getting, I don't remember. I think it was like, what's the know. impact of in-person impact events? of the live events? What are, what are people like not thinking of when, yes. okay, yeah, yeah. In-person event sounds fun, but maybe I don't want to spend the money on that. Maybe I don't yeah. know what that investment is. I don't know what to expect. I just know for me personally, someone who is an introvert and has seen the impact of my business growing because I decided to get out of my own way. Like I know that's not easy for everyone, but I, I'm living proof and I don't feel like I'm some special unicorn that if I can do it, like you can do too. Like my business has grown substantially because of in-person events and not just going to ultimate product party, but like in the sense of well, I don't really feel comfortable always being around people, but I know I need to build relationships with these wholesalers, with these retailers, if mm. I'm going to grow my business. And I remember just a few short years ago, my goal was to have my product sold in a hundred stores. And I felt like, oh, if I just get a hundred stores, that's going to be the dream. That mm. is going to just be such a game changer for my business. I will finally feel like I made it. I'm doing this. And it was me building relationships with people in person and online that that did that and now my products are sold in over 1500 stores and that 100 store goal kind of feels a little silly at this point because I didn't even know then what I was capable once I got out of my own way and sometimes you need mm -hmm. a friend in person to push you out of your own way and Allison and I always want to be a champion of women of men of whoever entrepreneurs in that capacity, because we have seen the results of what really not even stepping outside your comfort zone, but like leaping with reckless abandon and figuring it out as you fucking go, like what that can yep. do for your life and your soul and your heart. And that sounds so cheesy, but I just mean it so, so much. And I feel that so much because there are many groups that I've been a part of and business groups where the value of the group is the support that you get from the people 
yes. in there. You know, mm -hmm. I've continued to re-up with this one group over and over again because they have these events and like, you might be sitting at dinner next to someone with a hundred million dollar business and they're like, oh, here's my number and I'm happy to help you solve yes. this really complex problem and I'm not gonna charge you for it. I just wanna help you because you're my friend. You know what I mean? And that is invaluable because like you're never gonna find something like that anywhere else. You're not gonna creep up in someone's DMs. Oh, no. say give me free know, stalker style and like <laughs> ask some random question and they're gonna say like, yes, absolutely. I will help you. But when you meet someone in person and yeah. you're like, okay, I could see with my own two eyes that this is a legit person. They have a good heart. That is where that impact is made. And if you just are afraid and you stay behind your com computer screen for the rest of your life and business, like it's just not going to be what you want or desire in your heart. It's just not physically possible. Yeah. Yeah. And businesses as I feel like this was mentioned several times already, but there it's really based on the relationships that you have, the people that you know, and how you can leverage those relationships in a positive light to get you to whatever your next level is, which is incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And UPP I mean, has leveraged those relationships for attendees that have come to the event in like not, you know, little experiences are just as important, but like in really, really big capacities as well. So let's talk about the event itself. Like the vibe is everything. I don't even know if I told you about how I found out about it. I saw someone who is, was a former coach for us. She's a Shopify coach. And she's like, oh my, like she posted something about the event. I'm like, what is this event? And why don't I not know about it? Mm -hmm. And I went and like followed down a rabbit hole. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, why am I not there? And that was super fun. So tell us a little bit about the event, like what people can expect if they were to want to attend, et cetera. We really cater this event to the experiential side, like, of growing your business within a community. And so we have taken lots of different little aspects of things we've liked at different events, things we absolutely hated at certain events and kicked those to the curb and kept the things we really liked and just, okay, we're an attendee. How do we want to spend this two days? How do we want to participate in an event like this? So a huge factor of we cannot sit in our chair all day long. We need to be like moving and grooving. We need to be up. We need to be like switching it up. We need to pattern interrupt. We want this. This is a like fun fashion forward conference. Also like people's UPP outfits, like take some planning. Like people are excited, like obviously come as you are. Like we do not want you to show up as somebody else, but this really is a fun place to be like, I am going to like finally bust out that skirt that I have been wanting to wear. And it just makes me feel good. But I sit in my house all day long and I have nowhere to wear it or all of those things are like, go find that like new fun suit or like find that power outfit and wear it because like confidence exudes off of you. And then you're going to put yourself out there. And so that part is fun. Photo ops like are a plenty. We have alcohol for free at our event. <laughs> Always because you can go and get, get drunk. <laughs> Drank. We're margarita <laughs> people and we're like, you know what, after the end of the day, like I would like a cocktail. And that is like, just, we've exuded so much of our personality and we're such huge firm believers of a core personal brand. And you can see this both on Allison Carter celebrates and kitty meow and on ultimate product party. Like we are the leaders of this. So of course, bits of our personality are going to be in there. And we really like just having people on their toes. We don't want you to come and be like, oh, this is like so much like last year. We're always looking for new speakers. We're always looking for new sessions. We're always looking for like, okay, we did vendor marketplace for the last two years. We're like, we're over that. We're doing something new, surprising talking over here, new brand sponsors. Like we're just constantly evolving it. And so when you come to Ultimate Rada Party this May, it's in Orange County, California. You are going to come to our welcome happy hour the night before, which is all included in every single ticket. We don't have VIP or anything like that. Like everyone's a VIP at UPP. Like 
everyone gets the same thing included in their ticket. And we have a kickoff happy hour, drinks and snacks, and you get to walk, see everybody, you get to find a friend to sit with like the next morning, register all the things. And then Wednesday, Thursday is a full day of programming. Kat, go ahead and tell like <clears throat> what our speaker mix is and like sessions and stuff. Oh gosh, so good. I mean, you're going to walk in those doors. Well, there's not really doors because the venue is so gorgeous and it is <laughs> ultimately all outside in these lush, beautiful gardens. And there's so many nooks and crannies where you might feel like you've seen the entire venue. And then you like turn a corner and you're like, holy cow, this is like a totally, you know, different little pocket, but you're going to walk in. The music is going to be pumping. You're going to be like, are we going to a business conference? Or are we going to a club? Cause this is a total oh. vibe, high energy. Um, but not like a, they're drinking the Kool-Aid type energy. Yeah. It's just fun <laughs> and energetic and you're going to have keynote speakers where you're sitting in like the main stage area it's not even a stage it's like a what would you call that like because it's all outside but yeah I don't know. yeah okay. whatever you'll see you'll see and then we're gonna like move you into breakout sessions and then you'll even have round tables where maybe these are like a lot smaller intimate sessions whereas the breakout they're a little bit smaller but they're longer everyone gets to visit the breakout sessions you'll have time to be talked at and learn things but then you'll also have time to ap actually implement what you're learning in these breakout sessions because we don't want just you to leave the conference feeling totally overwhelmed. We want you to actually take action on the things that you're learning and figure out a plan of like, okay, well, how does this work for my business and how do I implement it as soon as I get home? And then we go to round tables where you are kind of picking and choosing, choose your own adventure. Like, yes, I would like to learn about manufacturing products in-house, which a lot of people, they say like, don't do that. Give it to someone else but not everyone runs their business the same way. So maybe that does work for you and your business, or maybe you want to learn about trade shows, or maybe you want to learn about, I mean, like product packaging. There are different things that you can go to based on whatever your desires are. But then we have found in the past, we have put some of the like more stuffy topics in the round tables and people don't choose those. Well, sorry, not sorry, but we're not letting you get away with that this year. We have a bunch of sessions called Eat Your Veggies, where people don't always like to eat the veggies, but we know they're good for you. So we're going to make you eat them where you're going to learn about legal. You're going to learn about taxes. Love you're going to learn about finances and you're going to learn about like mental health because that is just as important as some of these other, you know, kind of like, if you're not a numbers person, you, I, I know you tune out when people start talking about that and they're short, so important. they're quick to the point. You like, you get in, you get out, you get your information, you feel less overwhelmed during tax time or every time you open up that, you know, P and L spreadsheet. And like, it's a lot. And we jam pack a lot into a two day session. We are making more time this year for more open space for more like do whatever you want, networking. Maybe you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with Allison and I. There's so much stuff, but we really intentionally put the entire schedule together to over-deliver on like an out-of-this-world experience because we know you deserve it as business owners. And we are so grateful that you're choosing to invest in your business with us and with all of our heart and soul. We're like we're going to make this fucking best two days of your life friends. Yeah. And I think we're, we really, we've been to different conferences where it's drinking from the fire hose and then you get home and you're so mentally tapped that you can't even look at that, like work or your notebook or anything like that. And it's like, we, we have designed space and breakouts to have it be work time question and answer. Like, get some actual things done. We have a product photography breakout where you can bring actual products, walk away with some new fresh photos so that you can like you can do. Like we want to give you space to actually implement some of these things as you're in the room getting the support from these experts and speakers and other attendees. So you go home feeling, okay, I know my plan. I have my plan of attack. I do not need to do everything that I just learned. I'm ready to pick one, two, three and go on on that. And then I know that I have my notebook of things 
for my next three steps. Once I get this under wraps and then I'm ready to go, or I have a person that I'm ready to connect with when I'm ready for that thing. Um, and something else that we have is our speakers are very available to attendees throughout the event. We do not play that they're better than us game. We don't play that like they're in a green room like situation mm -hmm. there amongst the people they're attending the sessions also they're looking to grow their business and looking to learn and and connect just as much as the guests are and so they are available to have lunch with pull aside and ask a question hey can I have your eyes on this sales page and can I have some feedback like yeah. Yes, that's what they're there for, that access to their brains. Because again, like Kat said, it's it's different when you're in person versus, oh, I saw you at Ultimate Product Party. Hey, can you look at this website now over DMs? And it's like, well, you should ask that when I was literally sitting yeah, here. Yeah, you don't have, when you I don't have time for that. You know, it's just, there's too much going on. Yes, yeah, like, you so can, it's like the power session. of in person access to some of these like really heavy hitters. Like Tracy's like, a heavy hitter in this space. Like it is powerful to be able to be in the room soaking up her knowledge, but also being able to pull her aside and be like, Hey, this is kind of a sticky situation that I've got going on right now. Can I get your thoughts? And she's sitting right there sharing coffee with you. So of course, like that conversation is going to, it's one in. of my favorite things to do too. Yes, exactly. And so it, that is something that we are very dead set on having as an important part of Ultimate Product Party is that inclusivity and that supportive system of knowing that you're going to get some work done. You're going to get the support that you need while you're in the room. I am so excited to be there. So let's talk about ticket prices. And we are we have a special little deal for the Flourish and Thrive audience, which I'm excited about. Yep. So, yeah, so go ahead, Kat. you we have a couple options for payment right now. We have our paid in full, which is nine ninety nine. We have our three month payment plan that is going away soon. I'm not sure when this is gonna air, but it basically breaks it up into three different payments for you. And we just we want you to come, and we don't want money to be a factor of why it's not feasible for you to come. We know what other events charge and we know that we are severely underpriced, but uh, what, what's the deal for your offers? Oh, for um, <laughs> Tracy's community, if you use Tracy's code or no, you're going to have a it's link. Called, you, okay. I'll, I'll mention it. Okay. So okay, you for the Flourish and Thrive community, you're going to head on over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash UPP and use the code UPP Tracy when you check out and you'll get $25 off your ticket. And does it work for the pay in full and the payment plan? Yep. Okay, yes. awesome, awesome. Yep. So check that out. Or... We'll definitely have it in the show notes and everything so that you can find it. And I'm really excited to meet all of you who are gonna come. And I'm really excited to meet you ladies in person. I Same. cannot wait. I'm just really beyond thrilled. It's gonna be amazing. We're so excited to meet you too. And we're just really thrilled that you are such a supporter and a champion of this event and that you have taken an interest in it because the more people like you that have this voice and these platforms to share, like the more that impact of this event gets to run rampant. And mm -hmm. that really is the goal. Like we have really big visions for this event and as hard as running event is, and it's really this grassroots movement that Ultimate Product Party is, and we intentionally share the ups and the downs and the what it takes to build these things because we're building two businesses right alongside the mm -hmm. people that are coming to the event, building their businesses. And maybe we're a couple steps ahead in a couple different areas than they are, but we want to show that these things take time and they take energy and they take strategic action and risk taking and experimenting mm -hmm. and trying and like that outpouring of energy that it takes to build a business we want to show that journey and invite you to be part of watching how this event evolves and how it grows. And even each year, like we take people along with venue tours, we take people along to speaker choosing, like 
we want this community to be very much a part of this event because we're constantly catering it to the needs of our community and our audience. And so please go follow us on Instagram, <laughs> Ultimate Product Party. And we've got some really amazing email opt-ins for you too. We have like a year at a glance calendar that plans your whole year retail and wholesale. And so you can be like, okay, what should I be doing in March for like maximum profit? Or what should I be doing with my visibility here and here? That helps you plan that. And then we also have a really great opt-in that is all for free, free gift um, for email opt-in ideas that are not discount codes because product-based businesses always feel like you get stuck growing your email list mm -hmm. and only being able to, to offer a discount code. And we have some really fun, creative, proven way to grow email lists for your customer base that are not just constantly giving away discounts or free shipping. So all of that can be found on our Instagram links and our uh, website and everything like that. But we're just so excited to welcome you into the UPP fam, Tracy and everybody listening. And thanks for having us on today. And I wanted to say one more thing. The ticket price is like a huge value because we've been hosting events recently and the cost to run live events has like doubled since COVID. And so I'm just saying like 9.95 for two days, it's 9.95, 9.99 for two, two days, plus a cocktail hour and all these things included is literally a steal. You know, you think like a coach sometimes charges like a thousand dollars an hour for one hour of their time. Like this is yeah, a steal and you get access to all these people, you know? So I just want to mention that head on over to flourishthrivacademy.com forward slash UPP, use the code UPP Tracy and get $25 off your ticket. Thanks for being here, ladies. Thank Thanks, so Tracy. Much. Thank you so much for listening and watching the show today. This is Tracy Matthews signing off until next time. If you want to join me at the ultimate product party, please do head on over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash UPP. And use the code UPPTracy for $25 off at your checkout and join me. I'm going to be speaking about hiring at that event and bringing on a team. I'm going to be sharing with you the ins and outs of my hiring funnel. It's going to be super awesome. So you'll see that link below and you'll also see the code. It's capital U-P-P-T and then lowercase R-A-C-Y, U-P-P-Tracy. All right. Ciao for now. I'll see you next time.